Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tisha Renee, and let's continue on talking about my weight loss journey. As I stated last week, last Wednesday, I promised you all that I would talk to you about the first time I ever fasted and um, as a result, what happened to me and what it all led to. Let's get to it. time that I ever fasted I was 16 years old and I remember um, it was a fast that we were doing with our church and me and my mother and you know she asked me if I wanted to do it and um, she did have some apprehensions because at the time I was 16 I was my I was my um, freshman year of high school and if you remember from the last video I told you that I lost weight for the first time ever in my life when I was 15 when I had that summer in my grandmother's house when I was just eating better and working out consistently throughout the summer I ended up shedding some pounds and so when I came home when I started school um my mother told me about this fast that we were doing at the church and you had options to do different fasts there was Daniel's fast which is basically a whole foods plant-based vegan diet um for 21 days and but they also had different variations so you could do juices and smoothies i believe and they can just do um just straight up just liquids and me being the hardcore teenager that i am <laughs> i decided i was just going to do just juices um just liquids and it wasn't even like the best juices now that i look back it was like watered down juicy juice it's not even real juice it says 100 percent juice on the bottle but whatever you know it's not fresh press nutrients intact fresh juices like a green juice or whatever so i said okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this 21 day fast and i'm just gonna do juices and me and my mother did it together i believe she did it with me and it started off doing, um, I started off doing this fast because my mother taught me the principle about fasting. Um, if you're a believer, I am, I follow Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal savior, amen. Um, when I fasted, primarily it was supposed to be for spiritual reasons. And she taught me, you know, the scriptures to turn to when you read, that you'll read every day on your fast. And then also um, I used to journal during my fast and, pray and, and things like that and um if you guys are interested by the way i'll do a video more about spiritual fasting um biblical fasting if you're interested in that let me know below maybe i'll do a video on that later about what i've learned we can get deeper into this topic but for the time sake of this video <laughs> i just wanted to share with you all the first time i ever did a fast and so I would fill up my little bottles of juice and I would just bring it to school with me. And I would just drink that watered down juice all day, every day. And then um, I think the first three days, after the first three days, I started to get, you know, really tired and all these things, but I started to see a shift happen. I started to see I was starting to slim down. <clears throat> and uh, I gotta be honest, I think looking back at it, I think that started to shift my perspective and my intentions for the fast. I started to get so excited about the weight loss that almost almost as if the spiritual aspect was like the bonus when it should be the other way around. If you're fasting biblically, it's supposed to be for spiritual purposes, predominantly to get closer to God, right? The health benefits and the weight loss is just a bonus. Um, I'm 16 years old and all I knew is that I'm in high school and I'm drinking these juices and yes, I'm reading scripture and I'm praying, but I'm slimming down. And that hooked me. I was like, I'm gonna keep going. It was day three. It got a little hard. It actually was really hard, <laughs> but for somehow I just perse I persevered through. I just kept going. It's kept going every day. I read my little juices to school and I'm in class. I just drink my little juice. People are like, you're not eating lunch. No, you know, and I was so sticking to it because 
I did have things I was praying for, like, oh, I want this to happen and I'm praying and fasting for these things, um, but also the weight loss. So after 21 days, I look up, I don't remember how much I weighed, but I just remember that most of my clothes didn't fit anymore. And I found myself swimming in my clothes. I found myself having to buy new clothes. I found myself feeling proud of myself because I could fit into better clothes, cuter clothes, because I wasn't as heavy anymore. You know, I slimmed down from that previous summer, but I was still on the heavier side. So I still wasn't 100% comfortable in my skin. I still didn't, in my opinion, I, I couldn't find like the cutest clothes to wear and had to resort to wearing things that could cover up more than um, accentuate my body. And uh, by the end of that 21 days, I looked like a total different person. And I'll just be honest with you guys, like the high that I got from it was surreal. The attention that I got from it, let's be honest, as a teenager, um, was addictive. It was like, guys are like really, really noticing me now. Oh, shoot. <laughs> you know, um, I share this because not only is this part of my journey and part of the story of my weight loss, but I, sh I want to share this and highlight this because this is the first time I've ever fasted in my life. It was when I was 16, but this is ultimately going to lead into what I'm going to share with you guys next afterwards of how I eventually, after years and years and years of fasting, but more in an abusive way, I ultimately, um, full, di full disclosure and vulnerable moment right now, I ultimately developed an eating disorder. And because by any cost, I was willing to lose weight. And anytime I lost weight, it was never enough. And as a teenager, that's way too much to take on. It's way too much for my young brain and my young psyche to be so focused and driven by weight loss. Um, and we'll dive deeper into what exactly all of that was in the upcoming videos, but specifically in this time, um, after this fast, the issue that happened was I didn't eat well after I came off the fast. And so after I fasted, my palate, my taste buds was reset. You know, I was um, craving healthier foods. My body naturally wanted lighter things. I didn't want to go back to eating all the junk food and hot Cheetos and all that stuff right away. But after this, I started to realize that that first fast gave me such a rush and such a dramatic, quick, quick amount um, of weight loss that I was willing to continue doing it year after year or ever so often, pretty frequently. And that's where the abuse factor came into it. Something as powerful and beautiful as biblical fasting, I turned it into something else because my intentions weren't pure. And now that I look back at it, my intentions turned into vanity. Um, it was no longer about me getting closer to the Lord. It was about um, how close it can I get to this number on the scale that I'm after. And so in the next video, next week, you all, we'll just continue this conversation about ultimately the dangers of fasting um, in an abusive manner. And I'll share with you all what happened specifically and what disorder specifically developed in me. <sighs> I told you I was going to get deep. So <laughs> um, thank you again for watching and uh, I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye, friend.